Okay, so this is what we're going to be talking about today. Um, I'll stand up, I guess. Um, uh, this is the introduction part of the talk, where we're just talking. Um, we then talk about the characteristics of connecting to the internet. Um, basically, when you are a web user, you have to connect to the internet. And because you're connecting to the internet, that, that's some character, that presents some characteristics that you can't escape regardless of what you're doing. Uh, so that's uh, stuff that's important to keep in mind that when you're trying to identify someone, uh, they had to have uh, gone through this uh, at some point, basically. Um, uh, we'll then talk about offensive ways of determining what users identity, basically looking at the environment variables to see what IP address they're coming from starting with their going uh, through other uh, techniques. We'll then look at defensive ways of um, basically preventing people from being able to identify where you're coming from. Uh, in this case, what we mean is basically uh, borrowing the neighbor's Wi-Fi connection, that type of stuff, so you can immediately attribute uh, the, where, where you are physically to uh, your location. Uh, We'll then talk about forensic database analysis. Uh, basically, uh, that's the case where uh, you get asked, hey, we found this uh, database from, uh, from a user who uh, used to work here 20 years ago, and we need you to do something with this data, or variations of that. Uh, there's a lot of information that you can grab from doing that type of analysis. We'll briefly talk about forensic weblog analysis, which is similar uh, in concept to database analysis. We're not going to talk, go into too much depth, depth into the web analysis, or then have to do it broadly, and uh, we'll see how that goes. And then we'll kind of I will give the caveat that last time I taught, taught this course, we went clearly to the last minute, uh, so because I added a couple of new slides, so we'll see how it goes. Cross our fingers. Uh, so, why do we want to bother with this in general? Well, we want to know, um, like, if if we're uh, 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 Hascom Credit Union, we want to know if you're in the U.S. or the U.K. Uh, if you are in the U.S., that's probably a good thing. If you're in the U.K., that's start raising fraud concerns. If you're not supposed to be accessing your account in the U.K. That's the basic type of analysis there. Um, there's other times where you want to hide who you, who you are on the internet. So uh, that's the case when um, like you're posting to uh, Apple forums, hey, this is the latest pick of the new Apple iPhone 6 or something like that, which you got somehow. Uh, uh, then, uh, there's the other case of, okay, something has happened to your web server uh, for some reason and you realize something has happened and you want to go back and uh, determine who visited um, all the, who visited your web server, basically. Uh, now, the, uh, the last part here is everything in this presentation is old but I do keep it updated as I go through, but just keep in mind that all these techniques are evolving over time, so it's a constant game. Uh, but it's all good. Um, and do uh, good, not evil. Uh, I'm not a lawyer, don't go to jail. All that good stuff. Um, 